Hey everyone, this is part 8 of this series on how to find navel jewelry that perfectly fits your navel piercing. The exciting part of this series is just about to begin, but before we go forward, let's do a quick recap. Whenever you think about the look of your piercing, you're most likely thinking about the jewelry. It's so easy to get overwhelmed by the endless options of jewelry designs, but is it the jewelry that makes up this look? I'm gonna argue it isn't. Your piercing and the placement of your piercing matters even more. I'm referring to where the entry and exit holes of your piercing are placed. Weird, right? Do we really need to worry about all this? You walk out of the piercing shop with instructions on aftercare. Nobody said you need to think of your piercing this way. Really? I'm gonna challenge them for a minute. Why don't they look at your piercing this way in the first place? You might not realize what role the piercing plays. That look isn't just jewelry. So let me bring this point home. If your piercing is shallow, meaning the distance between the entry and exit holes is narrow, and you're putting in jewelry that's longer, it's gonna stick out when you sit, and the bar will be mostly exposed below the ridge. And maybe you care, maybe you don't, but there are piercing health reasons why you should. I did a whole series on this. The number of piercings that experience some sort of issues like migration or just never quite heal is simply staggering. Okay, and what's the deal with where the piercing is placed on the ridge? Let's think about the bar for a minute. The bar is curved, right? So logically, the closer it is to the surface, the more the bottom gem will stick out. Pay attention, I'm not referring to how much it sticks out of the top or below the ridge. Let me show you with mine. Try using your imagination a bit, but how I'm moving the bottom gem gives you a sense of what would happen if my piercing was placed below the ridge, which is how mine is pierced, right on the ridge, or slightly above the ridge. The more the bottom gem sticks out of your navel, the more it rubs onto clothing, and the easier it is to get irritated. If you have a piercing that's had a difficult time healing, look closer and you might be surprised what you see. So is the placement important? Damn right it is, but so is the jewelry. When your piercing is surface level, the last thing you want to do is wear bulky jewelry that's heavy. And I'm not just referring to long dangly belly rings. Some jewelry is just oversized, it sticks out and points into your navel. I've seen one recently, a whole skeleton shape with half the body sticking from the top. You just have to wonder, do these people designing these belly rings not realize how dangerous a design like this is? I get cool, I get funky, and I know Halloween is right around the corner. But put a friggin' scary mask on. Don't expose yourself to the risk of having your navel ripped out. How naive can people be to even consider these designs? In any event, let's stay focused. So am I going in circles these last few posts? No people, I'm just trying to drive this point home so that you understand. In the next part, we're gonna look at something equally important, your anatomy. And as we talk about your anatomy, we'll start talking about jewelry designs. By the way, do you have any questions for me? I've been asking you all to participate and share your experience and I'm not suggesting you should stop, especially if I struck a chord with this post. But do you have a question for me? And don't forget, even when you ask a simple question, you'll be entered in a draw to win custom-made jewelry that will be the envy, so make sure you participate.